Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news for the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, undisputed fight in the lightweight division, 135 pounds is on. I think y'all know that. That'll be Devin the, Devin the Dream Haney. A legend already, in my opinion, because of what he's done in boxing already and what he had to do to get there. That's undisputed champ, Devin Haney, versus Vasil Lomachenko, right? Vasil Lomachenko, okay, he got two losses, but we can all agree he's a bad dude, right? Some say, you know, he's not as great as they have put him on a pedestal, which they shouldn't have. They should have just said to the man that he's awesome, and we would all be saying he's awesome. Now, me personally, when it comes to Lomachenko, I think he's awesome as hell. But I really, you know, hate to say it and be honest, I think he lost to Jermaine Ortiz, right? When I was scoring a fight, he lost to Jermaine Ortiz. But <clears throat> that doesn't mean that he's going to lose this fight. Um, I think Lomachenko has most of the advantages here when you're talking about, you know, Ramadan is going on right now. So it's going to be really hard for Devin Haney. And Devin Haney is going to have problems making 135 pounds. We know he shouldn't be there. The only reason he's staying at 135 pounds is because this fight is a legacy fight. And, um, you know, so he wants to stay down there to get that done. Uh, uh, that's why I like Devin Haney because he's obviously going for legacy. While I'm saying something, too, I want to just say why I'm here before I say something else. Devin Haney and Lomachenko will be on pay-per-view. It's going to be $30 less than Ryan Garcia versus uh, Javante Davis, which is not even a title. An undisputed fight, this is what's wrong with boxing. An undisputed fight is $30 less <laughs> then the fight gives two dudes who didn't want to fight neither one of these dudes. Javante Davis should have fought Lomachenko a long damn time ago, and he's just a regular champion. Ryan Garcia was Devin Haney's mandatory and just ignored. And because of their popularity, <laughs> they get to, you know, like their fight is considered bigger. It's ridiculous. That's only in boxing, guys. But anyway, when it comes to Devin Haney, he had to go through hell to become undisputed. We know it, you know, having to take a lot less money to um, to fight George Cambosis twice in Australia. The money was ridiculous, what he had to take. The media let it go down like that, which it shouldn't. They should have been outraged at what had to happen to him, but they just didn't want him to become undisputed. Um, having to leave uh, Eddie Hearn to go to top rank, which, why? But that had to happen like that. You know, being called an email champion, when he was just due, he just had his the WBC belt. They made up a belt called the franchise title for Lomachenko because Lomachenko didn't want to fight Devin Haney. Imagine, Devin Haney was the mandatory for Lomachenko. He gets the, that, uh, that franchise belt that wasn't transferable. He loses to Teofimo Lopez, then it's transferable. Teofimo Lopez can go around with a duck on his head talking about I'm a ducking because I'm undisputed and he's an email champion. All of these things that this guy has to go through, goes through them. And then this article I'm reading is like, hey, he has a chip on his shoulder for some reason. We were talking about that. When you can control the narrative, you will, if you're despicable. Damn it, his chip on his shoulder should be a boulder on his shoulder. Ain't no damn chip. And I'm glad that Devin Haney is reminding people, yeah, we call him the Matrix. We call him number one pound for pound. Do not forget that. Now... The obvious thing, especially in American articles, are going to be, remember, when you see an American flag next to the article, they're going to be talking about the size. Like, there's a huge size difference, right? But on the top of that article, it should be, Devin Haney is smaller than Nakatin Nakatani and Luke Campbell. He's smaller than both of those. So there's no size difference here. It's a lightweight damn division, and that's where they're going to fight. Lomachenko has been beating up dudes that are taller than him for a while. But Lomachenko is a 135-pounder. He said he can't make 130. So Devin Haney's not really that much bigger than him. This is just how the weight goes. It's just Devin Haney is big and good. No one had an issue with Nakatani. He's two inches bigger than Devin Haney. Luke Campbell is one inch bigger than Devin Haney. You, do you understand what I'm saying? Wake the hell up, y'all. Dome Sports Talk Worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.